Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to um, GCSE P option evening. Um, it's uh, it's nice to see you in not in person, but um, to kind of be with you online uh, as we do this, this time of year. Um, I want you to think about um, the sort of uh, interests that you have and the challenges you want to um, enjoy when you're doing your new GCSEs next year. Um, GCSEP offers such a wide variety of skill set that you can take away to do A level PE or to move on and um, do for other courses that you decide to do and then away to university. Um, the knowledge and understanding you have in an array of areas, um, you can link with other subjects, which I will talk about later, such as sciences and um, psychology, um, and even in English with some continuous prose writing. Careers. So I mentioned a couple of things there. So you could go on to do a level physical education course. Um, and you could also think about vocational course if that's somewhere you'd like to go with BTEC National Diplomas in Sport or Exercise Science. Um, the course develops <clears throat> the skills that I was mentioning before, uh, which you can take on to management, leisure, um, sports science, coaching, medicine, um, all sorts of things. Physiotherapy is a very popular one um, within the uh, fitness industry. Um, and a lot of our girls go into physiotherapy from the course. Now we'll just have a little look at the course itself and there will be two question papers at the end. and They will make up 60% of the course. Along with that, in a COVID free time, three practical areas uh, will be taken for assessment, um, plus another area which will be a piece of coursework. So that would be your 40% for the NEA, as it's known as, and 60%, which would be 30% for each of those papers. The first paper and the first part of the course covered over the first uh, year is human bio, uh, biology, really, as you know it, the body movement and its association with activities and sport as a whole. We look at anatomy and physiology, so we look at bones and muscles, the cardiovascular system, respiratory system, how it all works together and how we produce the movements in the different sports that we take part in. We also look at types of training, physical training and, and what we do to increase our capacity with our bodies and how we improve that as well um, through looking at testing. So testing how good we are at these elements um, and then how we can make them better. So in all to improve our game. Along the way, we will be looking at different types of data. Um, OK, comparing to national averages, creating pie charts and things like that as well. So there is a little bit of the mathematical element in. This part of the course is an hour of 15 paper um, at the end of the second year. Uh, it's worth 78 marks and as mentioned previously, 30% of the GCSE course. There are a few multiple choice some short answers and extended answers, the continuous prose I was talking about a moment ago. Now that involves um, the longer mark questions, so six and eight mark questions, which we do a lot of practice with to prepare the girls for the exam. The second paper is sociological cultures, all right? And this is the influences and well-being um, involved with the physical activity and sport as well. So. Um, sociology, as we like to know it. Now, this is done um, into the second year. Um, sports psychology, so we link it to the psychology elements as well, as well as those sociological influences. Health and fitness and well-being, and again with elements of data. Um, how it's assessed is in exactly the same way, with an hour and fifteen minutes. 78 marks and 30% of the course and again is made up exactly the same um, with your multiple choice short answers and longer continuous prose. Practical element. As mentioned, we should have three areas that we can put forward for practical performance. 
and that's quite important. Price performance is assessed in the three different sports uh, as a role of player and performer. Um, one team activity and one individual, and the third has got to be a team or an individual activity. So, for example, I could be a footballer and a netballer, but I would then need an individual activity. So as a whole and as a school, from the start of year 10, uh, we offer GCSE extra sessions for badminton. Now, badminton is a good one because you can use that individually if I perform on my own. If I perform as a pair, um, then I will be able to put it as a team performance. So it's a good third option to have if you don't have your third one. Some of you might be very fortunate to have lots of options. It's important you're participating to the highest possible standard in your sports, both inside of school and outside of school as well. Anal an analysis and evaluation of performance is to bring about the improvement in one activity. Now you choose the one you know the best. So that sport that you probably do the most, if you're a swimmer, the one that you do seven days a week, um, that would be the one that you would write about. Now, when we're looking at evaluation and analysis of my performance, I'm going to look at what I'm good at, what I need to develop, OK, so my weaknesses, and then how I'm going to do that by using the course content. So I will look at things like how I train, what I can do to improve those weaknesses, like I was mentioning earlier when I talked about the first part of the course. So we've then got to link and apply this specification to improve. So it's a really nice bit of coursework. And remember, that's 10% of your final grade. <clears throat> so for each of those sports, they're marked as 25, OK? 10 of those marks are for your um, skills in progressive drills. So for example, in netball, it will be passing, it will be footwork, it will be uh, marking or defending. It might be shooting if that's what you do, if that's your role. Um, and so we need to build those basic passes, just simple chest passes, bounce overhead, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. But then you build them into a different drill and then you have maybe a two versus one situation or then you have someone feeding it into the D and you can add the shooting element. So there's lots of things you can do with those progressive drills to make you look as good as possible. Now, for things like badminton, netball, swimming we can do, table tennis, climbing, um, hockey, netball. Um, we can do all of these things inside of school. Now, there's certain elements that you would have to do outside of school, OK, such as horse riding. I won't make you bring the horse in. OK, so you will have to video your own skills so we can actually take them away for marking and moderation. So 10 marks is for skills and you'll get a set list of skills from AQA, uh, nice and clear to know exactly what to do. And in the full context, i.e. in a full competitive environment, you will be marked out of 15. OK, so that will be you playing in the netball match, OK, or you playing in the football match or performing on a stage in dance or in a gym competition on a piece of uh, apparatus such as the floor. OK, so for each of those three sports, they're worth 25 marks each. The other piece of course that I talked about is worth 25 as well, so it's 100 marks for your NEA. OK, so that's the bit at the bottom there. So I've just said 15 marks and 10 marks. It's the analysis, what I do well and what I don't do so well. That's my analysis. Evaluation, how can I make it better? OK, and that's your 40 percent of your final mark. These are the team options. So if you see any of your sports on there, great. If you see two of your sports on there, great. OK, so you could take two team options and one individual or vice versa. Here's a few more. Rugby league, union, sailing, bit of squash, etc, etc. So as you can see, with the squash, the table tennis and tennis, 
it's the same as the badminton. OK, so I can't be assessed as a double and then as a single. OK, I would um, have to decide on which one I would go with. These are the individuals. There's some boxing, some athletics. Dancing. Horse riding. Climbing, gymnastics, etc., swimming, and so on and so forth. If you have any questions about any of the sports or you don't think you've seen it on the list, then um, please just come and see me or Miss Kare and um, we'll answer any questions. Um, so that's it, really. Um, if you, you know, have any questions now, there's um, a little, let me see. I'm going to just come out of here. Um, let me get rid of this. OK, let's see if I can put myself on here. There we go. I'm hoping that you can see me now. Um, to those who potentially have arrived later, um, I'm, I'm sorry if you had a, a problem. This technology is a, a huge issue in itself. Um, I am here to answer some questions as well. Miss Kare is here in the background as well. Um, so if you have any questions at all, you can type them in the chat so we can we can have a little look there. I will give all the students um, who've attended a copy of the PowerPoint um, so you can go back and have a little look. Um, and uh, yeah, and if you've got any questions at all, either your daughter can come and see Miss Kare or myself, um, or you can give me a call or drop us an email and we'd be more than happy to help you. It's a great course. It really is. Um, a really broad um, and balanced curriculum. It's, it's fantastic. It offers so much. Um, you know, anyone who wants to go into, well, even PE teaching, um, but uh, in the medical world, where there is so much associated to the anatomy and physiology side or psychology, which is um, a very common one for our students as well to go to university and study. Um, it's it, it really is. It's a fascinating course. Now, I'm a bit biased, obviously. Um, if you like watching sport, um, if you like, you know, if anyone in the household, older brothers, sisters, your mum, your dad sitting watching something on the TV, um, sports related, get involved, sit down, talk about it, ask questions, read the newspaper. I know most of you are on your phones most of the time, but um, you can, um, you know, have a little look what's going on in the world. There's so much going on in the world with sport at the moment, you know, so it's it's all linked to this course in some capacity. Um, so, like I said, if you are interested in sport in general, this is the course for you, but you need to commit to performing to your highest possible standard as you can. All right. So, as I've mentioned, obviously, some people came a little bit later. Um, you'll be required to be assessed in three sporting areas. Um, and in those sporting areas, I will need to get video evidence. Um, so I will do what I can at school, but sometimes you will have to have a go at doing it yourself outside of school. We do have cameras that you can use and tripods, um, so you can come along and borrow those. Also, um, just to mention for athletes um, or any other summer based sports. Um, if you start now in year nine in the summer season before you start your GCSE in September, you can start filming then. If you have any competitions, um, then please get video. We know what what it's like at the moment with COVID. Um, so any opportunities you can get to film yourself, please do. Um, in in obviously a summer based sport, you will lose the summer because we'll finish before the summer in year 11. So you are allowed to start 
filming and doing your practical element in the summer term. OK, it's just a little tip. If you are an athlete and you're interested in starting the course, then please come and see me and I can go through the criteria and help you understand everything now. All right. Um, thank you so much for joining. Um, thank you, Miss Kare, for being here as well. Um, if you've got any burning questions that you want to ask right now, then please just type them in the, the chat. You've got a little, should be able to just tap on the chat there and start going. If I put hi, then let's see if everyone can see that. OK. All right. Oh, disappeared there. There we go. Um, so, yeah, so anything else you need to know, let us know. Um, and if not, pop and see me, um, girls, if you're online now, and hopefully I can answer any questions I need to. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.